Well, it's that time of year again when people take on the challenge of living below the line and we're talking about one pound a day to live off. With me is Helen to talk about this. Uh, you're, you're taking part yourself? That's right, yeah. What's it like? I mean, how easy is it? Um, it was more difficult on the first couple of days. It kind of gets easier in one way in terms of managing the hunger, but it gets more difficult because you feel less satisfied and it's the monotony of the same meals going through day by day that's annoying. So, well, t Take us through. Uh, what's, your, what's it been like so far? Okay, so a typical day, I treat myself at breakfast to a cup of tea. and so That's, that's a treat? That's a treat, yeah. That's literally a treat. And a bowl of porridge um, with made with water and a spoonful of sugar, because sugar's very cheap, of course. Mm. Um, lunchtime will be some rice with some li a little bit of chicken and some vegetables, like a bit of onion, some, a little bit of celery, a little bit of carrot and seasoned that's the key because seasoning's cheap <laughs> <laughs> and to finish it off uh, tea time I will go for um, like a broth I've made some broth out of chicken bones and uh, chicken skin and stuff and so in that I've got a soup mix and a bit of carrot and celery and stuff as well and that's me through the week with um, snacks celery sticks because I had to buy a celery for the campaign so <laughs> if I feel really hungry throughout the day I'll chew on a celery stick and um, I also allow myself a couple of peppermint teas a day. Outrageous. <laughs> we got pictures uh, last year of uh, Mr. Skelly and Mr. Gorn, who are also taking part this year. That's right. We, we showed a, uh, this is what they were eating. It didn't look that appealing, but they did it and they've come back for more this year. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, it doesn't, that's it. It kind of gets boring, the food, the sort of routine of it. And everybody's eating really exciting things around you. You kind of eat vicariously. You're like, what's that you're eating? <laughs> Looks good. Smells delicious. You can have a bit of cream with that dessert. <laughs> I, I suppose it makes you appreciate even more what you normally would eat and how much you'd spend on your food. That's right, exactly. And it's things like drinks that really add up. And um, yeah, it kind of makes you consider what it would be like living in poverty because of that lack of choice. Mm. That's one of the major things that I don't think is obvious, but it's a real lack of choice. Um, I suppose it's obvious, but this is highlighting people in the third world, is it particularly who have very little money to spend? Yeah, that's it. It's highlighting issues of extreme poverty in uh, the developing world. So, yeah. And will you do it again next year? Yeah, I would. I think it's a, it's good. It's a it's a good campaign. It kind of changes the way you think about food and your relationship with food, and um, and how you relate to others that are well off with you as well. So. Okay. Well, all the information is online if you want to have a look about uh, finding out more information from the website and maybe taking part uh, next year. If not, start now. You've got a few more days left, yes? Yeah, it's, um, it seems to be building up momentum on the islands. It started off, I think there was only a few last year. To our knowledge, there's about 20 people living below the line this year. And lots of people are really interested. So we're hoping we can build up momentum. So, you know, lots of people try that and sort of get learn to develop that empathy with them. Um, it's issues of extreme poverty.